to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. In today's video, y'all know sometimes I, I don't always get to wear the earrings in the intro because they're not done yet by the, by the time I record the intro. But today, I'm wearing them. I'm super excited. And like, Guys, these are like the best earrings for big hair. Like my earrings do, that's why I try to make, that's why I try to wear some more statement earrings when I have this type of hair, cause it's just big, they kind of get hidden over there. But these, oh my gosh, these are kind of like perfect for my big hair because they kind of stand out, they're bright and bold. I am loving them, really loving them. And I'm not a huge hoop fan, hoop fan but, Mm, these right here are giving me so much life. They are so lightweight too. It's another reason why I didn't typically wear um, hoops because especially with the bigger ones, they're they can be heavy. But these are light. Like they're probably a, a little bit tad lot heavier than the normal how they normal feel. But like really, they're light. And these are like the th thicker ones. I also have some thinner ones that I'm going to show you as well. Oh my gosh, these, oh, they are so cute. These are so adorable, so adorable. So yeah, we're making hoops today. So let's go ahead and get into this video. I cannot wait to show you how they turn out. So let's get into it. Hey girl, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been a part of the Oh So Pretty Squad, I'm so glad that you're back. If you want to join the squad, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and you are in. On this channel, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my handmade accessories business as well as give you helpful tips and helpful information for running a small handmade or product based business. So don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let's create something Oh So Pretty. All right, guys, for this, uh, I'm going to make this whole video is about hoops. So I'm going to be producing a whole bunch of different types of hoops. I am going to be making some colorful ones. I'm going to make some color blocking ones. And so two of the colors that I've mixed up is so far for this, I'm going to make a bunch of different colors. But the first color that I've mixed up is some white and wasabi. So some igloo, not some igloo. Uh, what is Primo White called? Just white, Primo White. And then I also did some Primo Wasabi. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more white to it, but if you can see, that's the difference. The first is like more green. I want it to be more bright. So I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more white to this, but um, that's where we're going. This is gonna be the first lot. And then I also made this um, concrete type of color. I added some onyx black glitter to it. So, um, it came out really pretty. It's like a nice white with um, some black specks in it. So, it's like very granite. And I love how it's kind of, um, some of the glitter sits on top but then there's some glitter that's embedded because I put the glitter on and then I ran it through the pasta machine. So, it has like this nice 3D effect because um, you can see it on top, but it's also some underneath and so the ones that's underneath look more gray So it gives it some di dimension and color variation. So I love this color I'm gonna pair this with some of the um, this bright green and I'm just make some pretty bright summer hoops I'm gonna do pink. I'm gonna do greens. But we're just gonna do a bunch of colors. So these are the first ones we're gonna do first and then um, we got some colorful ones that you'll see come up and we'll just keep going from here. So bunch of different hoops, just keep watching. All right, so let's get into this. Basically, if you guys remember last week I did or was it last week? I don't know. Whenever I did that glitter purple collection or whatever. This was basically some of the leftover colors that I had. So I decided to go ahead and start making these hoops. So in order for me to make the hoops, I used this. 
this tool that plastic tool it's called a shaping tool I believe or something like that and so um, that's from Haymaker Hay and I am just rolling out the clay so it's kind of even into um, I hate the word snakes but into like a basically a snake uh, I hate using that word for this but um, <laughs> so weird but you basically I roll it out and then I am putting them together on this little silicone um, almost like a mold but it's like a little sil silicone thing that you can actually just use it to you get the shape but you can also keep it on there and bake them right on there which I did for a lot of them because I think it's just so much easier if you're planning on making a ton of hoops then you can pull them off and just put them on your baking sheet after they sit there for a little while they're kind of easy to take off um, you can even like pop them in I was thinking I don't know if I said this later but you can even pop this into the fridge and then take them off so they kind of really set up and they're not gonna get fingerprints or any of that so yeah I'm just making the hoops I'm just adding different colors sometimes when you roll it down it can start to marble but I try to keep it at a good size before I really roll it down so it doesn't start to marble too much some of them you will see that I did want more of the marble look and then some of them I wanted the colors to be a little bit more pronounced and like bigger chunks of color if that makes sense so yeah I'm just rolling 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 making hoops so yeah let's let's just make these hoops then all right so then I decided to make a little stripe cane so basically I took that square cutter and I cut out a bunch of different colors and really just stacked them on top of each other to make this cane so I can use to make some more striped looking hoops so I'm just really using the scraps for the middle as you can see the of that old clay I'm just like mixing it up and then I'm just placing whatever colors on top and that really number one it helps you use up any like sh scrap cane that you have or scrap that you have but also then you get like a really good base um, under your hoops or you know your hoops are filled in and then I am going over top with the striped cane I cut it out I ran it through the pasta machine one time and then I wrapped it around and I didn't want it to be super perfect all right hey guys this is me going through and after they're baked is that's when I cut off the excess so I kind of wiped them down with a little bit of acetone just to take any you know roughness or maybe bumps that may be on there or bubbles that may have formed I really didn't get many of any of that but um, I just kind of wiped them down with the acetone because um, it'll also get off any color transfer or any fingerprints that may have gotten on so I just wipe them down really great and then I cut off the ends and then I'll do like my glue and I'll do my post with some UV resin so um, that's what I'm kind of doing right here those citron ones are oof, everything everything so I hope to add a lot more different variations to the shop in the coming weeks oh my goodness first of all I have a look I never I used to kind of shy away from hoops because I thought the process of making them was really intimidating but after I got a few tools and one of the tools that I got and I'll show you you see me use it in the video but it's these little silicone hoop guides um i actually got these from haymaker hay she is a maker who makes maker tools so she makes different cutters and tools that you can use for making polymer clay jewelry so yes these are genius she has some other shapes 
in now that she just recently created. So I can't wait to get those in and test them out. But these, I have four of these. Which that allows me if I bake and you and these these can go in the oven as well So if you bake them with them on that's a great way to do it as well um, You can also shape them take them off and bake them on your regular baking tray. That's an option as well um, I've done both Options I love to bake them on here. I really do love to bake them on here I just feel like they just stay formed beautifully but yeah. The other way is okay too. If you're busting out a lot of them, I can see if you take them off. You just use this as a guide. Another thing I do is like keep it on for a while while I'm making them, and then um, and then you can take it off because it kind of kind of almost sets in that area. Or you can pop them in the fridge. Oh, I never thought about that. I'm gonna try that and let y'all. I'm gonna try that one because sometimes if you pop them in the fridge for a little while and let them set on here and then take them off of here and put them on your baking tray, they'll be a little bit more firm. That might work. Mm, I'm, I'm coming up with ideas. So let me know if you tried these or if you've tried make hoops before or if you love hoops and now you're excited because you get to buy some from Olivia Hayward. I'm super excited for you because I do have uh, friends who love hoops, especially Courage. And um, so she is super excited to get her hands on these hoops. And I'm super excited for her to wear them too because I love for you to be able to rock what you love. But I mean, guys. Are these not just the cutest things you've ever seen in your life? Like, wow, they're gorgeous. So, whew, let me show you some of the other ones. So, I'm going to show you, I have these Citron ones, and they have like almost a granite color in Citron. Oh, these are adorable. I could even make bracelets, I thought, too. Like little cuffs. I thought about that when I was making these hoops. That would be kind of cute. Let me know if y'all be interested in that. Obviously, I'll make it a little different and bigger, but that would be kind of cute. Tub little cuff, hey girl. Hey. Anyhow, that's not what these are made for. These are hoops, but you can. Um, I'm, so I'm gonna do for these citrons ones. I'm gonna do, and I'll have several pair, but some of them are gonna be like you'll see the granite. And then the Papa Citron will be on the back. I'm gonna take these off that I have on. I haven't put on the uh, post to those yet, but I will. But also, we have these, which are, these are a thinner one. So these are a little bit thinner than the chunkier ones I just had on. So I did make a lot of different sizes. So just depending on, and these are a lot even lighter. They're about, they're the same width around but they're just thinner so they're even lighter than those other ones but they are super cute too let's see where the other one is here it is and these have like a fun little marbling pattern on them but yeah these are so cute i'm so in i might be a hoop person now i don't know especially with this big hair i feel like they just pop like you can see them I should have worn these for my photo shoot the other day. Anyways, it's fine. But these are super cute. Super cute. So those are these big ones. So I have, I'll have some thinner ones, but I'll also have some thicker ones. So if you want even more bigger impact. Um, oh, and these ones that I have are so adorable. These are some, um, some not many, well, these will probably be considered the small ones. Um, Haymaker also have a smaller guide than this. I want to get those so I can make some like really like fat, huggy type hoops as well. Um, let me see if this goes with this. Does it? Yes. So I have these. These are so adorable. These are so cute, guys. Look how cute those are. These are just so cute and colorful. These even, even though they're not as big, I think they, let's see, shake my hair out. Yeah, they really stand out, even with my hair big too. Obviously this one is a little less cause that's where my hair falls over, but I'm still getting great visibility <laughs> with the smaller ones on too. I love that. 
that. And I think just because they're bright too. Oh, they look so adorable. I mean, come on. Yeah, I'm really loving these hoops. So I have these. I also have some solid ones. These haven't had the post on them yet, but put them up so y'all can see. Pretty. I have some citron ones. Um, have more somewhat patterns. These have like golds and blue. Really pretty. These striped ones. They have like stripes, but then blotches on them. So cute. Oh my goodness. And these, I'm obsessed with these. Obsessed. So cute, right? So I'm gonna have a bunch of different colors. Orange, light pink. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of hoops coming to the website soon. So look out for that. If you've been waiting for hoops, here they are, they're coming. These are so adorable. I mean, so adorable. I'm shook how cute they are. I'm just shooketh. These are so cute, especially these, oh gosh. My hair now, it's getting caught up in my hair. Which is the one to this one, here are these. This is kind of like a squiggly stripe type of pattern. Girl, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. All right, yeah, so we got a lot of hoops coming. And I'm super excited to have you guys shop these and wear them make sure if you grab anything from my shop ever you always tag me because i do a giveaway once a month for a lucky person who's tagged me on social media who's purchased from me and so you'll get a free gift in your next purchase so make sure you always tag me when you purchase from the website on social media when you're rocking your gems and that's all for this video hopefully you had a great time tonight hanging out with us for tgiw it's always a fun time chatting with you guys in the comments so if you don't know and you're not here live my video drops at 8 30 every single wednesday and i have the whole C ceo squad chatting with us in the comments and all y'all my friends the oh so pretties are here with us and so it's such a fun time we just chat and talk and comment on the video so i love it it's a fun time so if you are ever watching the replay or watching this video at a later time you're like who is she talking about who is tgiw what does she even mean this is what i mean so come at 8 30 and join us and chat with us in the live chat area on my ch channel so i'll see you in the next video Peace out.